Hey guys, what's up? This is the Bull. How y'all doing? I am out today. I'm gonna be harvesting some uh, some herbs. I'm gonna harvest some oregano. I'm gonna harvest some some peppermint, and I'm gonna harvest this rosemary right here. The bush is nice, nice size bush. Cutting big um, since last um, fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest it at this point here now and I'm gonna go ahead and dry it up inside my um, my garage. After I harvest it, I'm gonna tie it up and just hang it off my ladder inside my garage or I may throw them in a, a box and just let them dry in the garage. Either way, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this harvested. Smell. The smell of rosemary is it's just, just, just awesome. I have some lemon balm also and some sage, but uh, they're still kind of on the small side, so I'm not going to harvest none of that this year. I'm going to actually transplant um, some of them and spread them throughout, throughout my property so they can grow in different areas to see where the plant lives likes better some of them the rosemary does great anywhere and it's doing really wonderful here but it appears that my lemon balm doesn't like its spot because I've grown lemon balm for many years and I usually get a huge plant to grow and this year it's not growing all that you know it's, 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 it's decent but it's not where I want it to be at so I'm gonna go ahead and relocate it to a different spot and just spread them around until I can find the spot that it likes and that's where we'll be kind of focusing the lemon balm to grow. Put my glasses inside my pocket because they keep dropping. So I'm already thinking that the rosemary senses a lot, it's going to be a good pile. I'm going to go ahead and throw it into a box and um, the peppermint and the oregano I'll, I'll hang up. This is one of the uh, rosemary and herbs. They're, like, they're the easiest things to grow in your garden. And they're so delicious and so many uses for them. So I recommend that you grow a lot of herbs throughout your property. And like, uh, especially uh, rosemary. Rosemary grows in so many different types of soil and it's so such a hardy plant that uh, you just, you know, you can't you, you you can't kill this plant especially after this plant gets established um, you'll have rosemary for many many years All right, as you can see here, I have harvested a lot of rosemary and I um, pruned my plant down nice and it's still got its nice shape and then it can continue doing its thing. Have me another milk crate here we're gonna go ahead and get our oregano into this milk crate and then we'll go over to the peppermint 
and harvest some over there. So that will take up this this milk crate. So the oregano, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tie them down with string and hang those off of my ladder inside my garage. Now if this is lovely, have your own herbs, your own oregano, fresh, right from your garden that you can dry and use in many uh, dishes in, in your home. And if, so many different types of uses for the oregano. It just it smells wonderful. I'm growing this oregano inside a you know a decent sized container that is uh, cut in the bottom but it's uh, dug into the ground so I can contain it so it doesn't spread all over the place All right, so let me show you here. So I have a good, good bash. You know, I mean, I could probably do three bundles with this uh, oregano right here. So I got to do some serious weeding over here. It's kind of like weeds have gone crazy over here. But that's for a different time. All right, let me, let's go over to the um, peppermint and get some peppermint now. Yeah, my peppermint container, I have it high off the ground there because, you know, um, these cement plants, if you don't um, control them, they will take over your property in no time. All right, you can see that, as you can see, like, how tall this um this peppermint um vine right here is probably two feet 28 inches long and it's like that all around the pot especially on the back side so let me go ahead and harvest this here And as you can already see, I just took a couple clippings and you can see how how much I already have of that uh, peppermint. I'll put them both in the container. I'll put the peppermint and the oregano in the same container since, you know, y'all can tell the difference between both of them. All right, so that's it. Got my herbs harvested, and now I'm gonna go tie them up and get them hung up and get them to drying. Let me kind of give you a little glance here and show you how it looks now. Hello. Good morning, YouTube world. Happy Saturday Shed Wars morning. I hope everybody um, 
already started their fall and winter gardens and that uh, you're enjoying yourselves and having a great time gardening. For me, I won't be doing a, a, a fall garden this year. I'm going to just focus on the stuff that I have already planted and um, then later on focus on redesigning the garden for next spring and um, just working on my food forest. Um, that's what I'm going to be focused on. I'm not going to be doing a fall garden this year. However, um, I just wanted to do a follow-up on the the the, um, the herbs that I um, harvested a few days ago and um, just to show you how I ended up um, setting them up to dry. Washed them off, got them cleaned up, took debris and whatever they had on there off. And, and um, I was going to hang them up inside my uh, garage, but um, then I decided I'm going to just go ahead and put them all in boxes and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and uh, show you what's going on there. Okay, so over here in this box right here, I have my peppermint. My peppermint's there. Up there I have a few um, zinnias pods there that I'm going to dry up so that I can have some zinnias uh, next year. I have a whole bunch in some envelopes as well drying out. And then over here I have my oregano. And uh, it was a lot bigger, but, you know, it's been a couple of days and it's already been drying off. And I do have some um, cayenne peppers that were all, almost dry and they're continuing to dry in the box. And then in this box over here, I have my rosemary. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these guys here in the um, garage to continue off drying. And then when they're completely dried... I will go to the next step with them. Um, all right, so guys, happy Saturday Shed Wars. Uh, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic time out there gardening and just taking care of yourselves. All right, much love from the Bulls Garden.